Fire 17 Crime Watch and efforts to crack down on catalytic converter theft in the city of Bakersfield. It's an exhausting issue for car owners and law enforcement alike. And tonight, the Bakersfield City Council moves towards adopting ordinance to allow greater utilities to crack down this theft. 17's Christian Galeno has more. Steve McLaughlin has seen one too many customers fall victim to pesky catalytic converter thieves. They're costing, on the average, $1,000. If they had a 2020 Tundra, he's out $8,200. McLaughlin thinks catalytic converter thieves should get harsher punishments, as it can take thousands of dollars to repair a car after the crime. They steal resonators, pipes, they cut brake lines, AC lines, oil lines. So they don't just, it's not just the converter damage, they're, they're causing a lot of damage to vehicles. Motion passes. Wednesday evening, the city council took one step closer toward adopting a municipal ordinance modeled after a similar one in the city of Artesia in L.A. County, which would allow prosecutors to charge catalytic converter thieves with a misdemeanor if they don't have proper documentation of ownership. But ultimately, we know that this is a huge problem. Ward 2 council member Andre Gonzalez believes there is a gap between car manufacturers and law enforcement to deter the crime. He thinks the ordinance will help fill that gap or at least serve as a warning shot to criminals. We have to do something. And uh, this is just one additional tool that we believe, some of us on the council believe, that uh, will, will allow us to get at the growing issue. Several in the board were hesitant. Okay. Here's the hesitation here. Weighing the constitutionality of the ordinance and questioning if this would create legal headaches for the city. But after more than an hour of deliberation, the council Mayor, voted Vice four Mayor, to Mayor, three Council. to move forward with this proposal. The, the first draft will be read at the council's Mayor. August meeting, and if all goes as planned, the ordinance would go into to effect as early as September 31st. I'm hoping that uh, Sacramento uh, comes up with uh, some state legislation that will put more teeth into addressing this particular issue. Several bills targeting the crime are working their way to the governor's desk, including one that would require car manufacturers to mark converters with a vehicle ID number starting in 2024. But I don't think that the city of Bakersfield personally should be waiting on Sacramento. I think we need to take a, take a step forward and take some action tonight. I have no way of knowing if they are stolen. I'm just trying to take somebody's word for it. In downtown Bakersfield, Christian Galeno, 17 years.